Socks are the number one most requested item at homeless shelters. Underwear second and shirts are third. At Bombas, socks were first, made with comfortable details for everyday wearing. Then underwear and shirts too, all designed to perfectly fit. At Bombas, every item you purchase means you're donating an essential clothing item to someone in need. One comfortable clothing item for you, one donated to someone in need. Bombas, comfort for all. Get 20% off your purchase at bombas.com slash comfy. Ever wake up feeling like you're already behind schedule? Luckily, there's Office Depot Office Max, here to help you save time and money. With all the supplies, all the tech, all the furniture, all the everything to get ahead and stay ahead. Whether that's from home, the office, or anywhere. Plus, when you shop online, we'll have your order ready for pickup. Now, in just 30 minutes. We promise. Or get $5 off your next qualifying purchase. Because our business is to keep business going. Visit officedepot.com for details. Welcome to another episode of Same Cast Different Day Podcast. I'm Martel Rowland. And I'm T. If you work in the medical profession, you know the risks of wearing a traditional metal ring. Inso Rings has spent years perfecting the optimal silicone ring for your lifestyle and work style. Inso Rings are a high-quality silicone alternative to hard metal rings that are a stylish, comfortable, and safe option for all occasions. Check out Inso Rings Rise Collection today. They combine a classic precious metal look with the comfort and safety of silicone in attractive colors like obsidian, slate, pink sand, and turquoise. Plus, Inso Rings Rise Collection are the only rings infused with SteriTouch antimicrobial technology and made right here in the USA. These are the perfect alternative for your traditional wedding band, and you can leave your Inso Ring on throughout the day, whether you're at work, home, or traveling. Check out Inso Rings Rise Collection today. Go to InsoRings.com and use discount code PODCAST to get 10% off. That's E-N-S-O Rings.com. InsoRings.com. Tina Marie. And then we got Manorexic, a.k.a. Marcus, here with us. Hey, Marcus. Hey, y'all. How you doing today? All right. Whatever. So, anyway, this is the must-listen-to podcast of all time. Make sure you tell your friends about it. Make sure you tell them to download it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and all your other podcast listings. So, um, thank you guys for tuning in for another episode. So, we're going to give you guys an update on the COVID-19 from Tina Marie. All right, guys, a few updates on COVID-19, a.k.a. the coronavirus, a.k.a. the Rona. Um, just <laughs> some tips and tricks for cleaning really quick. Um, a lot of people don't think about wiping down their phones on a regular basis, computers, doorknobs, light switches, et cetera, et cetera. Anything that you touch on a regular basis. Paper money is also going to be a big carrier of any germs. Um, something that I've been seeing a lot lately, which I really don't understand, you do not have to wear gloves when you go out in the public, okay? They carry germs, 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 just like your hands. So if you put on gloves thinking you can touch this and touch that and it's not going to get on your hands, yeah, it's not going to get on your hands, but you're still dragging germs from one spot to the next spot and you keep these gloves on all day like it's cool, okay? Preach. <laughs> mask, okay? Only wear a mask if you are coughing or sneezing because it will help to prevent you from getting somebody else sick. If you are not sick, you do not have to wear a mask. It's not going to stop you from getting sick. Washing your hands is going to stop you from getting sick. People touch things, don't sanitize their hands, stick their hands in their face, and then it's over for you. Okay? With that being said, this is transmitted by droplets and it's not airborne like a lot of other people think, like tuberculosis. They are not the same. Okay? And the regular masks do not work. N95 masks, if you're going to wear a mask, thank you. Right. So, when you get the disinfecting stuff, let it dry at least 90 seconds on the surface. Please read the label to see if it requires a longer contact time, okay? Um, with that being said, we thought it would be kind of interesting to look into some crime rates here where we are located at in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and see how um, if this quarantine and chill has changed anything within the crime rates. So, we are looking at a comp comparison off of the off of the Milwaukee Police Department, um, from we're comparing three six through three twelve the week, and three thirteen through three nineteen. Okay, so from the starting of three six to the next week, homicide went down fifty percent, rape went down forty four percent, robbery went down six percent, 
Joseph and Larceny went down 3%. Arson went down 20%. Arson. Or, I say arson. People really be burning stuff up like that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be surprised how much crime has been committed with arson. Right. And with that being said, too, aggravated assault has went up 7%. Because they stuck in a house with they. <laughs> that is so the significant they, others. Yeah, they going crazy. Y'all going crazy already. It's only been seven days for some people. Burglary has went up 6%, which I don't understand that. Y'all ain't got nothing. They still in toilet, toilet paper. paper. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and they water. go to people's house rights and they pull the paper and water. <laughs> and uh, motor vehicle theft is up 13%. Now, now why are you all still in cars? You can't really go nowhere. That's what, <laughs> yeah, I, that's I, what I want to know. Like, where are you going to steal a car and go? Down the street. <laughs> hey, I, that's a little club, man. You know. I said, traffic finna start jumping back off again. It was so many people at the gas station. I said, they finna start. Oh, that's because gas cheap now. They talking about it might reach 89 cents by the end of the week. But also, we used to do this back in the day where we would congregate at the gas station mm-hmm. and then right. ride that's up and down the Capitol. Mm-hmm. Especially on Sherman and Getting, in, getting in traffic. Five. That's what the old people used to do back in the day. Uh, you hating, cruising. sir. Right, cruising. Right. You know, I wasn't old enough, so I ain't, I ain't, <laughs> I ain't old like them. <laughs> but uh, speaking of which, is crimes going up. Unemployment rates has actually gone up as far as uh, filing for unemployment. Uh, they seen fifteen hundred claims as of uh, Sunday. Uh, wait. Oh, right, right. As of Sunday, and then for Monday they had about four thousand three hundred claims, and then on Tuesday they had about eight thousand five hundred claims, and then Wednesday they had fifteen thousand claims mm. of unemployment, and they're seeing on average at least seven hundred, <clears throat> seven hundred uh, claims a day being filed for unemployment rates here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, which I think is pretty crazy. Yeah, I just wonder how that's gonna play out in the long game. Like, do you really have? To, is it gonna be like a forgiveness thing, or do we have to pay this back, or how are we gonna pay this back? Or how long is it gonna take well, for them to service all those people? I just hope they can pay their rent. Cause don't ask me for no money, cause oh. I ain't got it. <laughs> I'm poor. He always poor, y'all. I am poor. Hmm. My credit card companies be like, sir, if you spend one more cent, we gonna cut you off. <laughs> expensive taste right i can't help it mm-hmm. so yeah they we saw the spike in um unemployment rates you know people are trying to figure out ways to pay rent bills keep, keep on with normal life which is very hard when a lot of people are, is out of work right now so hopefully the government can get this all figured out <clears throat> and make this work out for some of these people before they get out here and, and start losing their minds because some of them are really losing their minds i'm just gonna be honest but uh moving along what's next on our agenda we just want to know how that quarantine and chill is going for y'all. Let's talk about some relationship stuff. So, if you're basically in a relationship, and these are 10 things I guess you guys should do if you're in a relationship or whatever. Uh, I believe this came from powerofpositivity.com is where these 10 uh, things came from. So, the first one is understand each other. I, I try to... <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I'll be trying to understand certain people. It, I just can't. It'd be, especially when it's stupid and you try to make up so many excuses. I, well, it also depends on what kind of relationship we're talking about. Are we talking about a new relationship or a long term relationship or a married couple? You know, um, it all depends on the couple, I guess. I mean, yeah, I, I, I guess so, but. Because Don't after be, two weeks, you ain't going to understand nobody. Let's just be real about that. That's but, true. You know. I agree with that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's true. But I'm like, if it's, I'm talking about like a six months to a year into a relationship. At this point, you don't know this person. You're going to just stop lying. <laughs> I'm right. Like, you be trying to get me to understand, but stop lying. You just lie so much to the point where I just don't even care about what you're trying to get me to understand at this point. That's just how I feel. Mm-hmm. So the second one is argue, uh, argue efficiently. Argue effectively. Effectively? Yeah. Oh, so we can still argue, but just do it effectively. Mm-hmm. Okay, I like the way that sounds. It says, we won't always see eye to eye with our partners, and sometimes they may make us <laughs> downright angry. Oh, yeah. Arguing is normal and healthy, part of, of a relationship. Uh, the key is to argue effectively with compassion in mind. No, the hell I'm not. Mm-hmm. We need to speak. <laughs> we need to speak our truth with kindness and love. Mm-mm. I'm about to stop right there. They just made me mad. 
<laughs> How you speak your truth with kindness and love when you arguing? No. I'm not afraid to speak my, get my point across with kindness and love. Who does that? So, they just saying, you know, just be able to talk to each other without being malicious towards each other. Is uh, what it's saying. And also, it's saying, listen. I mean, yeah. I'll be listening, but when it's still be sounding stupid as usual, uh-huh. you know. See, that's the part where they say you got to actually pay attention to the other person. Talk it out. It, but then it also says going to bed angry can be the best thing to do during a heated argument. It can be? It can be. Oh, man. I was always taught not to go to bed angry. Sometimes yeah. you have to, though. Mm-mm. Sometimes you got to whoop that trick. At the echo, whoop that trick. Whoop that trick. <laughs> whoop that whoop trick. That okay. Trick. I'm going to behave. I'm going to behave. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, child. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> make your relationship a priority. I hate people who do not make their relationship a priority. I agree. I mean, how do you expect, you like, when you want somebody to jump up and do stuff and be, you know, do stuff when you want to want to do stuff with them. But then when they ask you to do something, they're not putting that relationship first or the other, like, what's going on between us first? And I, I really hate that. Yeah, you're always supposed to put your significant other first. Um, have a happy home, you know what I'm saying? You want everything to be happy, especially if this is somebody that you're trying to grow old with or build with or do other things like that. Um, you got to, you just got to be able to put it first. Yeah, because it's safe to, uh, it's supposed to make the bond stronger, and you can do that by scheduling couple time. Oh, couple time, okay. Yeah, couple time never works out. It never it, it, works it, out? It'd it be a disaster. For who? For you? It, yes. Aww. It'd be a disaster. Especially <laughs> when other person be cheap. Um, make time for yourself. Ooh, I did not so, see that one coming. So, I was yes. I about to say that. It does After say, the cut, you got to have time for yourself. Because it does yeah. say when you, when you spend a lot of time with your partner, uh, you, <clears throat> it's important to take make time for yourself. You can make time for yourself for, like, hobbies, spending time with your friends. Uh, time apart can make the bond stronger. I don't know if that's real or not. It is real because you always need that time to yourself to readjust and revamp and think. Get your motor skills back ready to be with your partner. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree, but when they work your nerves, I'm just saying. Oh, this is my favorite right here, though. Oh, stay intimate. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's that. Ho, 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 ho. coming out. <laughs> <laughs> it was Marcus' idea to use the echo when I had my moments. <laughs> so, yeah, but it says to stay, uh, stay intimate. Um, couples that are intimate at least once a week. Reports the greatest satisfaction in their relationship. At it's, least once a week? At least once a week. Hmm. I need more than once a week. But right. <laughs> who only can do once a week? These got to be some old people. Who? I'm going to I'm, I'm send these people an email. Like, were y'all old that thought about this? That came up that idea? No, but this sounds like more like couples, like long-term couples that they ask these questions. No, but, a lot of married but, people. But no, they're still they're referring these people to like who's like, out of the honeymoon phase and just got like busy schedules or whatever and you know mostly people with kids and juggling relationships and a a career at the same time that's what it sounds like Mm -hmm. but you know that's not like the regular average relationship that's going on now in the in the whole united states like everything is like not based on that now everybody just just smashing each other oh man (laughs) so i guess right so i guess it just depends on a couple you know whatever because I'm going I'm to I'm talk about people smashing each other in the workplace on another episode. Ooh, child. Because I got some dirt for y'all. And I'm sorry for the people at my job who going to hear this. For the person who we be talking about. You shouldn't be putting your business all over the job. But that's going to be for a later episode. <laughs> Ooh, I'm uh, ready, honey. Yes, let's see. Find time for fun. You know what? Ain't that the same way? Ain't that the same as making a relationship priority, I guess? Find time for fun is what they're saying. Couples that are in, oh wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. <laughs> Couples that still have fun and make make each other laugh have some of the have the strongest bond is what they're saying. I love to laugh, so I agree with that one. You always gotta have some type yeah. of fun comedy going on. Yeah, I can't be even a boring person. Oh man, like this boring. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Not at all. See what it is is like. 
like those moments are like the moments that you spend like right before bedtime and you laying in bed and you just you know you lean over and say something real silly and goofy to make them laugh them the moments they talking about are you sure because just coming home and reading books is boring oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, see, that's not the only thing that I do, but that's what I do in my pastime. But see, when you that's that alone time that they were just talking about, the time that you have to yourself. So the time that you spend with your, uh, your partner or your mate, your significant other, whatever you want to call it, those are the moments that they're just speaking he about in the bed. He be sleep. Oh, <laughs> you Why be sleep? Is he in the bed? Because <laughs> he, he be sleep. Yeah, Let's like talk about lady. him. Wait a minute. We 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 ain't gonna talk about old Yeller because he. Uh, See, mm-hmm. Dolly. <laughs> 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 that is a whole. No, that could be a whole episode. Oh my god, that'd be like an episode of Maury. Yeah. I can't take them nowhere. <laughs> Neither one of them. Uh, grow together as we move through life. We are, <clears throat> we are all bound bound to change. Relationship goals will, will shift, will shift. But being in tune with your partner will keep keep you on the same page. I so agree with that one because over being in a relationship for as long as I have you because you old as dirt. See here we go. <laughs> <laughs> but you learn to you know. <laughs> Bro, like everything is not always going to be the same, you know, from when you met way back when. So as the relationship goes on, it does change and people become different and you have to learn how to adjust to the other person, you know, becoming, I, I guess you want to say more um, in tune with their self. Oh, because the next thing I was actually going to ask to, because I was wondering, like, what was going to happen? What would you do when you start getting bored with the person? But they say keep dating each other. It's the next thing. That is so true. Mm-hmm. I guess they like, will make it fun if you keep dating each other. And I guess I don't even know how to put it. Reinvent different ways to yeah, make it fun. Yeah. Because after a while, I guess you can't get bored with a person. And my thing just cut off. You can't get bored with a person. So Yes, you will. You will get bored with a person. Ain't no can. You will. Get bored with a person. Oh, that's so sad. Not really. I mean, that's natural. That's why I play Xbox. It make me feel better. No. But so, I feel like having some alone time is another good way to stop, you know, that from happening from you getting bored or getting tired of your spouse. Is having your alone time, going mm-hmm. out with your friends, doing different things. You know, makes you miss them. <clears throat> yeah, I tried that, but when you others boring as hell. <laughs> He just gonna complain. Huh? <laughs> oh, I need a sip of wine. Huh? Cause girl, whatever you got in your throat is not letting you have it today. Stop, I mean, stopping I'm just, him from. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying that you they get pretty boring. Like we don't like the same TV shows. We don't like the same kind of movies. We are total opposite. But see, that's when you're supposed to pretend like you like at least one of the shows and then try to get into it to make I, yourself I hate, have something to talk about. It's always that one thing that you have to do to make yourself mm-hmm. I hate be reality TV make- so much. <laughs> and that, that's, I just can't. I hate reality TV. If it was Mariah, you would watch it. Oh, my God, yes, if it was Mariah. Well, I didn't watch Mariah's World because I, like, I, I could tell that it was just fake. It she didn't seem like the real Mariah. She was doing bubble baths anyway and drinking wine. <laughs> As long as it was bubble, bubble, ah, bubble baths in her nightgowns or evening gowns or her ballroom gowns with a glass of champagne in her hand, I would be happy watching that. Because I know that's the real Mariah. <laughs> but like, I can't get into reality TV shows and stuff like that. And, and like the one show that we did have in common was The Fosters, but they don't even come on no more. Hmm. So I'm like, eh, so we ain't got nothing to talk about when it comes to TV. And I don't, I don't really care for football like that either. I like basketball more. But see, yeah, you don't watch does. football for the sport of it. You watch football to look at the men in the pan. And <laughs> no, I and actually watch it for the ball. I watch it for the sport of it, along with basketball. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 I actually you care about it. my sports. You Thank you. For the wrong oh I my God, it. that's your inner hoe coming out. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh my God, ho ho ho. Um, <laughs> you didn't do the echo. Redo that. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. ho, ho, ho. ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm so dumb. <laughs> okay, and then the last one is uh, be there for one another. Now, I've been told that I'm emotionless and I don't have any feelings, and I was called heartless. Because, what are you, a Pisces? Yeah. No, nah, all Pisces I know are very, they have a lot of emotion. See, my whole thing is like, I get called that because 
it'd be like a certain time has went by and you'd be like, okay, get over it. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. it's time to let go. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't, I don't feel like you lack emotion because that's, of that. That's what I'm saying. don't harbor saying. feelings, and I think that's the problem that people don't see. And that's what I've been trying to see. Like, even when, after had Kobe Bryant had passed away, and I was, it was like probably two days later, and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like Kobe. wasn't a fan, but I like Kobe mm-hmm. as a basketball player. Still wasn't a fan. <laughs> but I was like, okay, <laughs> can we uh, talk about something else besides Kobe for a change? So I feel like you kind of like that about the majority of things. There's only certain things uh, that you do dwell on. Very small. Very few things that you dwell on. Exactly. I just try not to dwell on stuff for too long. That's why I got caught. I don't know. But anyways, be there for one another. However, y'all choose to be there for one another. Be there for one another. And if you got a fake cry at the funeral with the with the significant other, fake cry, or fake smile when you at the picnics and stuff. And you know, I'm good at fake smiling, y'all. Everybody know I'm good at fake smiling. No, you ain't got a fake smile. I be fake <laughs> smiling. So, well, I ain't never went to none of the family get together, so. I ain't you never hear, to do you hear all this bad advice he gives? Yeah, gives I know. You're oh. not supposed to fake smile. What you're supposed to be do is be there when they, uh, you know, have a moment. Uh, you be there, let them cry on your shoulder, and just give them words of encouragement. I mean, that's exactly you that too. Coming. But even when you go around the family, I'll be like. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With my face smile on. <laughs> literally tickled oh no. that has a tear coming down <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay but that go my advice and i take it or leave it hell i don't it might work for you people who been called heartless mm. or emotionless mm. i just don't hello <laughs> so those were the 10 things to do yeah for people that are in a relationship so now if you're looking to start a new relationship, um, yes, let me hear this. <laughs> child. So this is ten things to always look for in a relationship, and the first one is have the essentials in common. Uh, <laughs> you just said that. Shut up. <laughs> um, I I can't speak on this. Like I said, yeah, we, we went through, so maybe the other two can. <laughs> Uh, so I do feel like you're supposed to have something in common, you know, like some of the same types of music, like some, some of the same types of food. We both fat. So we like, <laughs> <laughs> That's all we can say. We like food. We got food in common. Does that count? It's a step in the right direction. There you go. <laughs> Um, like have some of the same type of hobbies, have some of the same types of beliefs in certain things, you know. Well, I believe in the power of the Christmas tree. Oh he God. don't believe in the power of the Christmas mm-hmm. tree. So, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm going to choke him, y'all. What? I'm just saying. Oh, I'm gonna type I really need to figure out how to unlock that. Um, <laughs> so, uh, the next one is be wary of someone who wants to get married yesterday. Ooh, Ooh. I, I knew that's people who move like too that. fast. What's yeah, up? I, yeah, you I can change the name. Just, just change the name. Girl, her name was Bianca. I'm just gonna say Bianca. And she met this guy and was just like, "Oh my god! Like I just met his mom. Like, girl, you knew him for three days. What you mean you just met his mom? Like, <laughs> like no, you talk about making up, setting up house with this boy already. Like, you only know him for like a week, and like, mm-mm. that's just, scary. Yeah, like them ones you gotta look out for because the ones that be standing over you while you sleep. Ooh, so oh, I think I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you so stupid. <laughs> Oh my god, I was so done with you. Oh my god. It's funny because I think she don't know who she is when she listens to me. I am so sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for all the giggling. I really am, but that is hilarious. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Okay. So uh the third one is someone who can make you smile and laugh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we already kind of talked about that. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. the little goofy moments when you're laying in bed by mm-hmm. yourself. 
Mm-hmm. I think we think farts are funny still. Oh. They are funny depending <laughs> on how they sound. You're right. He's like, oh, I heard that. At least ain't like our older brother. He'd be sitting there, he'd be, it'd be real quiet in her. All he hears them. <laughs> like, why are you so gassy wait, like that? Wait till you get to finish it. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> but see, that's one of the things that you just, you know, you grow to love like when you're with somebody. So, you know, you, you don't have no problem with them doing stuff like that. Oh, jeez. Y'all is funny. I hope y'all are really getting a kick out of this. Mm, mm. Especially these old people. Y'all, I don't mess up. Please don't go to no porn. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, what was the last one we talked about? <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> oh, okay, we just on this one. I'm laughing, right? Uh, someone you can talk to. <clears throat> yeah, man. If you can't communicate, um, I like to talk too damn much. You got to be able to talk back to me. You got to, especially mm. when she went drinking. It all depends. I don't too much care for talking. <laughs> You don't like to talk. I don't. I don't too much care for talking. Uh, you know, that's uh, good. You say he be talking. Here, here, here. What he be talking to? He be like, hubba, hubba. <laughs> but you know, but you know, like I said, I just, <laughs> I just don't like to talk. You know, I'm not one of the people that want to sit up and talk for hours. You know, let me know how your day was going and discuss maybe what bills coming up or whatever but other than that i don't too much care for talking we can watch tv in silence and i'm good with that <laughs> <laughs> at least he being honest he said tv in silence uh sucks oh shoot i'm hungry y'all <laughs> what what did they say? <laughs> Intercables, intercables, inter. Oh my God, y'all! <laughs> I'm just gonna give you a definition. <laughs> uh, again, thanks, again, thanks for asking. What? Oh, personality traits like honesty and all that kind of stuff. Okay, empathy, honesty. Okay, that's what they're talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> y'all quit laughing at me. I need another drink. No. I'm going to laugh some more. I ain't got nothing to say about that one anyway. So. I think, yeah, because being open and honest, that never really works. We just you know, Really? And it don't? I'm really it's, open and honest. But sometimes when you're too honest, they don't believe you. That's true. I agree with that. But then that's on you and true. your perception. You can't say I lied to you because I didn't. Uh, someone who can abstain from lust? Oh, my. Stop. Who? Ho, 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 Not ho. Because <laughs> that's a touchy one right there. Because like, there's lust everywhere. No matter where you look at it, it's always going to be some kind of lust somewhere. So You got to be able to avoid temptation. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's true. Especially when I'm telling y'all, for some of y'all who had some hoeing days, I'm telling you, it's hard. It's hard as hell. You know what? Uh, I'm done with you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let me find out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, why they keep throwing these words at me? No, I'm having a hard time pronouncing. They need to have a hard time pronouncing stuff with an F what, in it. What is it? Let me see. What number? Be, we uh, the, uh, wait, wait. I said be able. You know what? They say ability, and I said be able. <laughs> the ability to be. Uh... Oh, ability to dis dismiss first date infatuation. That's not where we at. Are you you said ability. Oh, well, hell. Y'all know what? what the, yeah, we is. Like, we just yeah, talked you know about what? lust. Oh. You know, them first date, you know. My you, bad, y'all. My bad. You just think like, oh, my gosh, this guy is saying everything that I want to hear. And this is the perfect guy for me. Infatuation. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Infatuation. <laughs> I drink to that. Mm-mm. <laughs> 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 You oh, wait okay. a minute! You stopped him in his really good. Right. Thought. Oh my bad, my bad. Like I go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He forgot anyway. I sure did because <laughs> I mean, for the middle of Oh god. Woo wee. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember what I was saying. Okay, yeah. But you know, when you run that first thing, like, oh my God, this guy is saying, like, all the perfect mm-hmm. stuff, like, everything's on my list. He's checking off, and, you know. And then by the third date, I ain't gonna even say by the third date, by the third time y'all get together, and you realize, like, oh my God, this guy is so full of shit. <laughs> and then, like, a week down the line, like, well, maybe it was just this, you know what I'm saying? And the first couple of days come back to your mind, and you're like, well, he was this gentleman in the beginning, but then six months down the line, you're like, oh my gosh, I should have listened to my first mind when I saw all of the signs before. That's what they mean by that first date infatuation. Mm-hmm. That sounds like somebody who's in their 20s. True. Because mm-hmm. by the time you No, get, I know somebody well, like that. I say in early 20s. Tw- no, well, I'm saying, but like, I'm saying, like, if you like going, you're like, you're trying to go into a relationship in your early 20s, you know, they feel like that advice is seem like somebody for them. But when you get to their late 20s and early 30s, actually anything past. 29 and going into your 30s and up by a certain age you'd be like Mm-mm, hell to the no get the hell away from me i can already tell that this isn't gonna work don't talk to me don't look at me you That's walk me. away i swear i'd be like i had one conversation with somebody and i'd be like nah exactly i, I can't even deal <laughs> <laughs> i'll move on to the next one if you can't look past that one thing don't don't know what the hell that means but it says it doesn't matter what one thing is uh, a lack of attraction, bad chemistry, red flag, whatever. That one thing will likely make progression in a relationship dif- difficult, if not impossible. Cause like, like I just said, they can be saying all the right things, but that one thing that you know is just wrong or just a little bit off, you always try to overlook it, thinking that it was something that maybe can be worked out later on in a relationship. And then here you come to find out that one little thing, boom, it was... The master plan the whole time to fuck everything up. <laughs> right, like something you can fix and you just realize, like, this just cannot be fixed. Mm-hmm. I understand that. Uh, be yourself and find someone who loves it. I hate people pretending to be somebody else when you meet them. Yes. And then they turn out to be the total opposite. Yes. Yes. Like some dudes who sag and put on a hat and call themselves the other uh. thug. Oh, my God. I can't stand them dudes. Just oh because you can make your voice do like this and you can put on a hat. Does not make you trade deal or thug. I just want to let y'all know that. <laughs> For me, I just don't like people who are not comfortable in their own body. Yeah. And that's a big no-no for me. Like, if you're not comfortable in your own body, then I don't need to be around you. I agree, because me, be, I'm, you know, I'm a skinny guy. Don't get me wrong. I'm thin as wind. But, <laughs> you know, I like me a big, thick dude. And, you know, some big guys are very uncomfortable with being big which i can understand you know because you've probably been teased or whatever like that but there's always somebody out there that likes the big thick, oh yeah to lay up Cause sometimes i'll be having my moment i'll be feeling like a brick house inside a walmart i mean a warehouse Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> walmart. <laughs> walmart sears kmart jc pennies amazon warehouse <laughs> ross marshall's <laughs> tj maxx mm. And Mayfair Mall, all wrapped up in one. That's how big I be feeling sometimes. Why can't be so extra? But, I don't know. But then I look at <laughs> other big people like, oh, okay, I ain't that fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. That was so mean for me to say. Um, you say it all the time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> someone, uh, the last one is someone who is compassionate, kind, and loving. Mm. Hmm. I don't know. I just don't want no fappy ass dude up under me all the time. I just, I just, you know, it's fine to be those things sometimes, but romantic sometimes. Yeah, just you know, like that twenty four. Don't be clingy. Right. Don't be super like all sensitive and shit, crying all the time and whiny. I don't Wait, know, you crying I don't again? You crying again? <laughs> or or they misunderstand something you saying and they say you know they just whining for days. Yeah, man, days, be on in their feelings like that. How do you say? Man, look at how you coming at me. What you talking about? Yeah, but you know, some women can be clingy too and all of that other stuff. So, you know, you, you know, get to look at it from both sides of the fence. Because, mm-hmm, Tim, you know about, you know, which one we talking about. Ah, mm-hmm. oh, man. The one with the nose. Woo wee! <laughs> <laughs> that, she. Ooh, I am so sorry, Jeffrey, just, for bringing that up. I just feel like she just don't have anything else to do with her life. Like, you can't. Like, it's not that serious. Especially Facebook stalking people. <laughs> I don't it understand ain't, that. Don't it ain't, you got that much time in your life? Media. Does, she, does she got kids? 
Oh, that's why she got so much damn time. Well, I ain't got no kids either. Not so I got that much time. This will be Facebook talking to You don't text me, oh well. I was just I was just thinking like mm, I ain't heard from old Yeller. Oh well, so I called yesterday. You didn't call me back, so I'm not about to try to call you again. I know that's right. How you doing? Mm-hmm. Um. So what we got next on the agenda? She don't go. She don't uh over here looking at. No, stuff, we're y'all. talking about voting next. Oh, we're talking about voting. Please make sure that you guys go out and uh, vote. Um, I know with this Rona going around, people is nervous, but don't let that discourage you because there's a lot going on in these terms that the people ain't paying attention to. So I went and did early voting, and it just it went like a breeze. I wasn't scared to touch anything. Like I say, you just wash your hands, and they have hand sanitizer and stuff at these places anyways. So you can go do early voting if you want to avoid the large crowds who want to go vote. Um, but I believe it's the primary elections coming up. It's not the primary been. elections, is it? Yes, it is. Primary okay. elections, I believe, you said on April 7th. April correct? 7th, that's correct. We'll okay. be voting for mayor, uh, I don't know all this. I think like the You're city. You're on your local, uh, local congress. Not local congress. That's the next. No, on your local congress. No. No, you vote, we vote for aldermen. You vote for the mayor. You vote for the, the, the job that Scott Walker had that he tried to get rid of when he governor. became governor. No, county executive. County oh. executive. The county executive, yeah. the county um, lawyer, whatever them people. All oh, those people, they actually do make a difference, y'all. I'm yeah, talking about right, right here at the city yeah. level. See, it makes Have sure. you seen the signs about the the uh, the get vote cogs out around the city? Uh, uh-uh, who's cogs? Uh, Malayli, Malayli cogs. Oh, I was. Oh, is that the, the one with the, the bad hair? Woman, yeah, the other huh. woman for. Uh, Actually, she's the Alder Women for our district down over here, and yeah. I have to agree because, like I said, I stay in the neighborhood, you know, the 53206 neighborhood, and it's a lot of potholes You mean zip code? Well, yeah, you know, zip code. You know what you know what I mean? But it's a lot of stuff that's going on over here, like a lot of these potholes. The, and... she, she just got their job and not doing anything. She's neglecting the people. And then the thing about it, like, a lot of these people, when they do their uh, campaigns, um, which I'm gonna get into more on the next episode. I'm gonna dive into it real quick. They they cater. It's just that they cater too much to the poor. They don't think about the middle class people. But I'm gonna dive into that next episode right. though when we uh get, can get more into that. So um is that is that, is that what we got for the week? I believe that's what we got for the week. Awesome. Absentee absent, absentee ballots. You can find them on the website. Google them. Um, not the website. <laughs> <laughs> on Google, I was like, we don't for have your, a website up yet. <laughs> right, for your area, um, for Wisconsin, it's election.wisconsin.gov. It'll have um, info about absentee ballots on there. There is a deadline for absentee ballots, so please, please go check that out right away. All righty. Thank you for listening to the Must Listen To podcast of all time. Don't forget to connect with us on Facebook, which is same cast, different day on Facebook. And we want to say thank you to the now 500 plus members we have part of our little community thank on you Facebook. Guys. Yay. So thank Yay. you guys for that. Um you can follow me on Twitter at Martel Rowland on face well Facebook, Twitter and Instagram is all at Martel Rowland. Oh my goodness. Okay. My Facebook is Tina Marie Haslett. Um Twitter and Instagram is underscore underscore T I N A A M A R I E. And and Marcus you need some Twitter followers because you know, I think you only got like six so y'all can go <laughs> to get him some follows. <laughs> Cause yeah, I just started my Twitter account, so yeah, you can catch me at Marcus Walker on Facebook and on Twitter. All right, well, thank you guys for listening to this uh, podcast. Make sure you tell your friends to share, to share this podcast, download this podcast, and don't be afraid to interact with us on uh, Facebook under the same cast, different day uh, Facebook page, because we do respond to messages and comments and so on. So thank you guys for listening, and we'll see you next episode. I'm Ken Jung. If your dry eye symptoms keep coming back, it could be me. Inflammation. Over-the-counter eye drops typically work by lubricating the eyes. They may provide temporary relief, but probably won't touch me. Ha! That's why I asked my eye doctor about Zydra. Uh Uh-oh. Zydra works differently, targeting inflammation that can cause dry eye disease. Zydra? No! It can provide lasting relief. Zydra is the only FDA-approved non-steroid treatment specifically for the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease. Don't use if you are allergic to Zydra. Common side effects include eye irritation, discomfort or blurred vision when applied to the eye, and unusual taste sensation. Don't touch container tip to your eye or any surface. After using Zydra, wait 15 minutes before reinserting contacts. See our ad in shape. Call one 877 4 zydra or visit Zydra.com. 
Verbo has private whole vacation homes for the whole family. So whether it's around the pool or patio, you'll have the space and privacy to reconnect with the people you love. Download the Verbo app. The time for getting back together is now.